காஞ்சிபுரம் கோயம்புத்தூர் ஆரணி கும்பகோணம் திருபுவனம் செட்டிநாடு கண்டங்கி மதுரை செனாலம்பட்டி Are you wondering what is the connection here? These are some of the most popular varieties of sarees from Tamil Nadu. Namaskar, Adab, Sastriya Kaal, Hello Friends, Welcome to my channel, My Inspiring Thoughts. The essence of my channel is to give you glimpses of the vast landscape of Indian culture and the richness of its heritage and traditions. I'm equally eager to ignite curiosity about Indian culture in young minds and people from all over the world. After taking you through the various facets of the art and cultural landscape of India, let me give you an overview of the saris of India. Walk along my cultural journey to the Sari Yatra, an exploration of the history of India. and significance of saris in the indian context hey if you are new to my channel and you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet just do that and hit the bell icon so that you can get to be part of the exciting and diverse indian cultural journey the traditional saris of india represent the diversity and culture in all the regions of india With each sari a story and history is attached signifying traditional knowledge geographical details complex and skilled weaving themes and styling There are more than 70 types of saris and dozens of different ways to drape them depending on the region the fabric type climate and the occasion Let's get to know about these different varieties of sarees of the state of Tamil Nadu. Kanjipuram silk sarees are popularly referred to as the queen of sarees because of their luster and durability. The origins of Kanjipuram silk sarees can be traced back to Hindu mythology. According to legend the silk weaver is a descendant of sage Markanda known as the god's master weaver The world famous Kanchipuram sari weave dates back 400 years It is traditionally a mulberry silk handwoven sari made in the bylanes of the town of Kanchipuram A unique feature of this sari is that the weaving method uses three shuttles. The body, pallu and border are woven separately and then interlocked together by a weft weaving technique known as koravai. The joint is woven so strongly that even if the sari tears the border will not detach. Zari patterns and motifs are of woven with silver and gold thread the designs include stripes gold dots temple borders checks floral sun moon peacocks parrot swans mango leaves to name a few the kanjipuram pat sarees represents timeless beauty in every drape worn across all ages for all kinds of ceremonies this masterpiece forms a much desired part of an indian bride's trousse i uh, which is often passed down generations as grandmother's legacy the kaimbatur handloom sari is an age old traditional kovai cotton sari which is particularly known for its unique border intricate prints and incredible durability The self border showcases beautiful golden zari design reminiscent of anapakshi patterns. Arani handloom silk sarees are especially woven by the weavers of Arani of Tiruvannamalai district. These lightweight silk sarees which weigh about 300 to 400 grams each are woven with mulberry silk and wrap and weft by using dobi hence arani silk sarees are known as dobi sari these sarees are characterized by a border with a thin line of zari and small designs 
Kumbakarna Marthirupuvanam Sari is famous for the Parai, technique of weaving the Pallu. Another uniqueness which distinguishes it from other silk saris is the folding style popularly known as Visari Madipur. Chettinad cotton saris are most traditional type of sari in this region as this fabric with its high absorbency and breathability makes it perfect for the hot and humid weather. The tradition of weaving of Kandangi saris was introduced by the Nagartar Chetias of Karekudi over 200 years ago. For this handwoven sari, the artisans of Nelakote use a special needle frame or pane made with hand picked and sl spliced bamboo sticks. Kandangi sari features strikingly contrasting color combinations and big borders. The name of the weave Sungari is derived from the Sanskrit word Sunam, which means round. Around 500 years ago, Saurashtrian weavers migrated from Gujarat and settled in Madurai region. These highly skilled artisans used a special tie-dye and weaving technique with cotton fabric and thus was born the Sungadi Sari. Chinanampati Saris, hand-woven saris, have their origin from Chinalampati, a small dainty town in the Indikal district. The saris made of viscose are famous for their silky luster. Viscose is a plant-based fabric made by using banana pith fiber. The thread is soaked in kerosene oil to get its shine and strength. The saris easily replace the pure silks in terms of looks, feel and texture. For most Indian women like me, the sari is not just another attire but an extension of my personality. So the next time you wear a sari like I do, just live the rich lineage that unfolds as you wear it. Remember, you're wearing a piece of garment that has lived through centuries. Now that you have been a great audience to this overview of some of the finer aspects of the Sari Yatra, the journey of Saris, I'm sure the next time you come across any of the above types of Saris, you will really appreciate the nuances. Namaskar till we meet again in the next episode of Sari Yatra, my cultural journey of Indian Saris.